morning guys, welcome back to Mobile. We obviously didn't take you out last night. We went to Chief Mouse. The video went up. Best Wi-Fi we've found so far in the town. Our hotels is like non-existent. It's there, it's not, it's there, it's not. Um, but yeah, it's about nine o'clock. We've got up early, we've done well. We're back on that sort of like island beach way of living. We're up a lot earlier. Didn't drink as much, which was very good, but we're going. <laughs> Leaf. We took Leaf it out. It out. We're, uh, we're going back to Chief Mouse for some breakfast and then we're gonna try and see the sardines. Chief Mao, as you can see behind me, we have Bacon, but he's not friends, and we've got Lilo. She's so good. Hey. Did you take our order this morning? Yeah, she did. Um, so we've ordered our breakfast. I've gone for pancakes. What did you go for? Uh, three fried eggs. Who goes for three fried eggs? On toast? <laughs> Get my protein. Crazy, but yeah, it's really nice weather outside today. Um, hopefully the sardines are out there, but I just want to enjoy my breakfast with bacon. Does this look gone for the free fried eggs? Like I said, I need that protein. But I love the plate it comes on. It doesn't look like your basic free fried eggs. It comes in this like wooden and square plate. The toast looks amazing. The eggs all joined together. The three never seen that before. I'm so greedy. Um, Molly's pancakes aren't here. But I'm not weighing. There's a reason we also didn't get bacon, and that is because there's a Mr. Bacon right there. So my pancakes have come. They are huge. I've got bacon. I've got. Oh, you're eating them. Don't play around. Actual bacon, um, rashers, and maple syrup, so I wanna dig in. That breakfast was so good oh my god the coffee though it just makes me sweat but the coconut back on that island life was lovely um we're now going to walk down try and rent a mask somewhere so we can go and swim with the sardines we're going to do it ourselves not go on the tour oh and what about the sausage dog getting on the bike like what was that all about um but i think you can rent a mask pretty much anywhere in town and then it's literally like 10 meters out you haven't got to swim far so molly should be okay um it's just where we leave our stuff because we've got all our stuff on us we've got our masks um, it was 100 pesos for the whole day. We didn't want the snorkel or anything like that because we are just going to go and have a look. But obviously I've got my pink one. Matt's got a black one, big enough for a big head. But let's just hope they're still there. I'm pretty sure they should be, right? Yeah, it's just finding exactly where the sardines are. They're all along the same point, but apparently they move up and down the beach each day. Um, and Molly said we didn't get the actual snorkel because of the fact that we're only going close in, but come on, my surname is Bass. I'm a fish, they call me the fish in the UK. I like my lung. I'll be, I'll be under there for about half hour, you won't see me under there. I'll go missing. And as you can see, it's not hard to locate where the sardines will be. Literally, just follow where the boat is. All the people are out swimming. It's about 
10 meters from shore, but I'm gonna change over to the GoPro. I actually bought the GoPro properly off my mate before I come away, and we haven't used it the whole like seven weeks have been away, but now it's time to change to that GoPro. And we're on the GoPro, ready to go in? Right, yeah, this isn't the best quality. I don't even know where I am on the camera. It's probably really windy, you probably can't hear me, you probably can't see me, but we put these silly ocean shoes on, but they're actually really good to stop your feet getting cut. Um, and yeah, I'm just following. Everyone's out there, so I'm just gonna follow over there and hope that I can find them. was incredible i've never seen like Molly said so many fish in one place there was there was i think there's like a million at least and they're going everywhere couldn't swim too deep because my like fish senses and that weren't there today weren't quite right but i think they'll be right at the next beach because as you can see it's not the best place to chill out um it's not bad when you've got low tide but it's not much sand here and it's more just boats people going to see the sardines so we are going to get a tricycle i believe to white beaches which is the more famous beach to chill out i think there's a few beach bars white sand just got to find our driver Super trike, it is very, very noisy, but it is huge. All the space, I've got all the back to myself. Molly's got all the front. I think it's about two kilometers to White Beach. It'd be easy if we rented a bike, but we're gonna save that for tomorrow doing the waterfalls. I'm just hoping that the beach is nice, as nice as they say. And we have arrived at White Beach. The drive was a lot longer than expected, but it's a five peso entry and there's so many locals, like there's, there's no tourists. I think we are the only tourists, which is actually really nice. The sea, you know how we love the sea, same colored sea. Um, sand is similar to the one Panag Samar Beach, I can never say it properly. But right now we're just looking for somewhere to have a San Miguel light, of course. I really, really expected it to be full of more Western tourists, but it looks like it's just all locals on their Sunday, going to the beach, chilling out, having food, having beers, singing a song, you know, how it goes. Um, but I've walked too far now, all the bars at this end, I get all excited, explore up this end. This end's nice, I always head to where there's nobody, but where there's nobody, there's no beer. And what is really nice is that there is loads of like Sari Sari stores here, rather than big resorts. Yeah, it's crazy, like everyone's just here, and it's really nice, it reminds us of um, like when we used to go on the big islands, island hopping, and yeah. people just go there just to relax and chill out. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> um, and as you can see, all the locals are here enjoying their Sunday. I just think it's really, really nice. We found this lovely little beach. I think it's called Anne's Mini Bar. Yes, Anne's Mini Bar. And as you know, we've gone for our salmon girl light. I've gone for a Sprite as well because I'm just not drinking enough water. So I thought I better get something else to cool me down. But this view is unreal. Have a look at that. We're literally sat right here with only two in here. And you've usually just got locals chilling out in their beach huts and they're all having lunch. And then the beach is right there. Bit 
later now we really really enjoyed white beach um if you're staying in mobile I highly recommend it there's a lot more space to chill out rather than here in the main tourist hub there's more, a lot more locals not many tourists at all there um but yeah i got burnt again as you can see i've just got a thing we're getting burnt at the minute uh we come back had lunch didn't film that because i was starving come to the room molly edited the video and now we're heading back out to our favorite place because we know it has the best wi-fi and the best food in mobile The rugby is playing and there's everyone up here chilling out, having beers, watching the rugby. It's actually on half time, if that's what you call it in rugby. Um, so it's not playing at the moment, which is a little bit quieter for me. Um, but we're just chilling, having a San Miguel light. You know how we do, it's the second one of the night. The video is posting the best Wi Fi that we found here in Chief Mouse. Cannot believe it. We're going to order food soon because the food menu looks amazing. Someone's just ordered a chili con carne and I really want it. Um, but I'm going to have a look at the other menu. There is some more on that. Here is my chili con carne. Obviously, I was going to get it. It is amazing. I love it. Uh, Matt went for. I don't know what he went for. It's like a falafel platter. You've got some hummus. You've got some salsa. You've got a little bread to dip in the hummus. The falafel is amazing. And this tastes like it's come from Greece. I think mine tastes like from Mexico. It is unreal.